Hi, how are you? I'm Diane, nice to nice meet to you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Nicole Burks. I'm from Hibby, Minnesota. I'm here to find my dream dress, and I'm here with my sister-in-law and my mom and my dad. The wedding date I see is very soon. We might have to rush some dresses. My fiance's name is John Marinak. He's a wonderful man. He's everything I ever hoped for. We fell in love fast and furious just a couple months ago, and, and we want to start a family and just be together forever right now. She met him seven weeks ago, and uh, he came and asked me for her hand in marriage two weeks after that. She needs a dress fast. I flew all the way to New York in a private jet with my dad. We set up all these appointments. So far, my taste is totally across the board, so right. this is going to be maybe tough. I'm going to have to try on a lot of dresses. With an indecisive bride and tight timeline, Diane knows she has a long day ahead. Is there somewhere you want to cap it or do we? No caps. No caps. You heard that. <laughs> We're very fortunate in that money can be more, so there doesn't have to be a cap on the dress. I think the sky's the limit. Yeah. She likes to shop and see it all and then go in for the kill. <laughs> With money no object, Nicole is like a kid in a candy store. Wow. Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> totally. This bride loves to shop, but Diane's challenge will be to make her choose just one dress. I like this one, too. All right. <laughs> the wedding is December 5th in Camille Bay, St. John's, Virgin Islands. We'll fly into St. Thomas in a, uh, in a jet. We've invited about 85 guests. So we're going to move them all there, and then they can come to the wedding. Nicole's ready to present the first gown, and it's a head turner. Sexy. Oh, oh my wow. God. This is making me have tears in my eyes. I love that dress. Very romantic dress. Gorgeous. Seeing how Nicole is so taken with the dress, Diane wants to gauge the family's reaction. I have to co confer with my panel. <laughs> Your panel. <laughs> so elegant. Gorgeous. Oh, it is. I love the back. Dan? John would fall over. That's, what, that's what I said. I mean, it had to go wow. I thought my dad was going to say, turn around, where are you going, to the bedroom with that or what? But he loved it. The dress wins over dad, but Nicole is not sold. It's almost like I want someone else to tie it on so I can see what it looks like from afar. So that dress felt stunning and sexy, but ultimately I wouldn't have felt fun in that dress, and I do want to have that fun factor. What do you think? I like it. It's too much fun to try in wedding dresses. Why not do it? She doesn't want to miss any possibilities. I like this one, too. This is too hard of a decision. Five dresses, and Nicole has yet to be wowed. Two hours later, and well into the next appointment slot, Diane pulls a gown that finally has her bride tickled pink. <laughs> Look at her. Talk about pretty in pink. Oh, I love how fun this dress yeah, is. This will be an all in ivory. I love that other dress, but this one's fun. This one is fun. Everyone likes it, but Dad. Dan, you're being very quiet. It's wow. Well. Pink dress was maybe too much for personality. I was hoping that it wasn't her favorite. Daddy's girl needs daddy's approval. Well, I really think she's looking at me to see how um, I react, but also how John will react. And without his blessing, she now has second thoughts. The other one was so romantic, and this one's fun, and I, yeah. I want to be both. So oh can God. you find the next both? Nicole wants sexy and fun, so Diane pulls a gown she hopes captures both. I really like this one. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Told you. I feel like this is getting the combo look that I Told want. you. OK, ready? Later. Okay. Oh, wow. look at this. It's combining oh, things, yes. isn't it? This is combining all the looks. The gown is a hit. I'm really overwhelmed right now. Dad, what do you think? It took my breath away. Really? Yeah. Did you hear it three times? He's telling that. Seriously? It took my breath Seriously? away, yes. Look, you have everybody crying. <laughs> this is the dress. This is her expression. Oh, here you go, Nancy. <laughs> so they're all standing there crying. I'm loving it. I love it. Love it on you. Right? Love, love it. it. Love it. Mm -hmm. sure. Like this one. Yeah, it was a death. Finally, it looks like Nicole has found her dress, and Diane has landed a sale. So then this is the dress you want to wear in your wedding This is the one. Well, I have to go to one more store. Then suddenly, she can't commit. <laughs> but we have but everything this is the here. One. <laughs> she didn't like the idea that I wanted to try on more dresses. This is the one oh, she sees herself getting married in. Good. Oh, right there. <laughs> and yes. I still have to go to 
And she still wants to go to one more store. Is she not? crazy? Well, We're not. We came to New York, that's why. I set up all these appointments. I can't just throw the appointments aside. I need to go there. But so if I Okay, need to come whatever back you feel. Or... It's not the case of winning the parents over. It was Nicole. Nicole, in this case, is definitely the one that has to be won over. I feel a little pushed right now, and I don't like that feeling. I want the final say to be my say. I think in her mind, it was like, oh, it's going to end. I have to stop. I can't try more on. After a four-hour appointment, Diane hates to see her business go to another salon. But Nicole heads out anyway, hoping to return before the day is over. It's a half hour before closing time, and upstairs, bride Nicole is back and ready for more. She wants to continue shopping. We would like to try on a couple of the dresses that I didn't get a chance to try on. I've already spent at least four hours today with her. Now it's about 20 to 6, but I'm with a bride right now. The thing I'm running into is there's a Monique shop right in Edina, right where I live. It has every Monique dress there is to offer, and so if I can't try on a couple more dresses before I leave here, then I would just go there. And she's pretty much almost threatening me that, you know, well, if I can't try all these dresses on, you know, there's a Monique Lullier where I live. Diane is relying on the fashion director to accommodate what is essentially a new appointment. The only thing I could offer is let me see if maybe Randy is available and she could try on some more dresses. Some girls enjoy the process of shopping. They want to see how it looks when they sit, when they stand, when they turn, when they pose. So some girls are a little more indecisive than others. This is a different, oh. Oh. Well. This one's different too. I like this one better than the other one that I just had on. So I like this one better than the other one. I like, do feel sexy in this dress. The store has officially closed, but Nicole is still shopping. At least she's come back around to her favorite gown from before. That's the dress I love. Come yes. On. Hands down. Oh, when I see in her dress, I am so lost. Uh, right? Yes. Where's the veil? Let me get a veil. <laughs> okay. The one she had on earlier. Here we go. Nicole is so focused on finding her dress and wanting to try on dresses and wanting that experience that I think she kind of becomes oblivious to everything around her. Now, if this isn't it, I'm lost. I think she's kind of unaware that the salon has closed. If this, if this isn't it, I think that we need to call an end to today. Her family's exhausted and we're kind of out of time. I don't want you to make a rush decision, and if you don't feel like this is your dress, I want you to go home and sleep on it. I do think Nicole is very privileged. I'm serious. You're, you're joking. <laughs> no, I'm serious, because it's we're, we're closed like 20 minutes now. I know you are, that's why I'm laughing. I wish they would have kept this door open longer. I think she is under the impression she can have anything she wants. Dad, can you park your jet for the night? Yeah, it doesn't go to tomorrow until tomorrow. Good. Bride Nicole has spent hours admiring herself in wedding gowns. Well past closing time and exhausting her visit, she's still in front of the mirror. Randy's about to call her bluff. My job is to make her make a decision about that wedding gown. I wasn't very happy. They were rushing me. I don't want you to make a rush decision, and if you don't feel like this is your dress, I want you to go home and sleep on it. And as soon as I said, walk away from the dress, she's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to take it off. It's beautiful, it's romantic, it's a rich fabric, it shows off your waist, it's a beautiful neckline. It's everything you ask for. I have brides that want to look beautiful on their wedding day, and they always think that there's another dress that's going to make mm -hmm. them look more beautiful. And you know what? Sometimes it's not true. This is it, Nicole. This is it. OK. I want you to look in there and tell me, is this your dress? <laughs> look in the I want you to look in there and tell me, is this your dress? This is my dress. Are we getting it? Yes. Are you saying yes? Yes. Is this like, yes, this is my dress? <laughs> oh, Cola. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to cry now. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I knew this was your dress. Uh, at least in my heart. In his heart and in my wallet, you that is your dress. I don't know, those other ones, that's just how I am. Nicole and I have a relationship that is very strong. Seeing my daughter in a bridal dress, it stopped my heart. She's going to not be my little girl anymore. I can imagine walking down the aisle in this dress. He's going to cry. There's not words to describe how he's going to feel.